I've tried many times to record this, and it seems that the people mm. in bad don't want me to say this, but I got something that needs to be addressed about the swear bot for YouTube. What I'm about to show you is scarier than the swear bot issue, but something that is definitely illegal that a company does, which is very common that companies will get away with this, even to the point of not letting this get out unless other people are aware and speak their mind. Not only is the swear bot affecting people of freedom, freedom of speech, to freedom to speak, if you swear in a video, future, present, or past, you need to pay that much money for your uh, language barrier. It's going to be to the point of how long do we have to be able to pay YouTube uh, by the amount of seconds and minutes that we need to pay them. This is dictatorship. This is communistic. It is illegal. What you're reading is from what he told me, and if others are going to be like this, then this is going to be like Wizards of the Coast and the OGO. Companies are getting fiercer. They're going to double back on this. They're going to freeze. They're going to say, oh, this isn't right. And then they're going to backtrack and probably decapitalize this to make it better, to make it sound businessy. I'm swear, like, I'm to the point that someone out there needs to make a dictionary for business speech. So then people can understand what is going on and how they say and what they need to say. I'm also beginning to believe that the person who held the one of the YouTube buildings hostage was right, and we should actually act and do something about it, that they found something that needed to be ousted, and she felt that it was the right thing to do. Corporate being corporate. 